Aquarius, hi, welcome to my channel. I'm your host, Tina. We're getting close to February, I decided. Let's do some bonus love readings. So that's what we will be doing for you here today. Let me go ahead and give these cards a few shuffles. We're gonna get down one layer first, get an idea of the general energies. We'll go in and clarify, of course. Now, the way I like to do these, we're gonna take a look at the shared energy between you both. What's the situation? Look at your energy, their energy, and then the near future, what is coming towards you. Um, now, these are love readings. Doesn't mean that they are romantic, although they often are, but really, whoever you're thinking of, if it resonates, then it's for you. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's happening. Um, with my readings, I like to kind of just see, like, get into their headspace, get into their heart, see what's happening there with the situation currently, and then, of course, the near future, what is coming towards you. All right, this is for Aquarius, February 2021. Happy birthday, by the way. Happy birthday. We're going to stop here. Six of Swords is at the bottom. What's the situation and shared energy between you? We got the world. How do they see you? How are they feeling about you? What action would they like to take towards you? How do you see them? How do you feel about them? What action would you like to take towards them? And then the near future, what is coming towards you? All right, we got the devil on the spread. It's the first time it appeared on my all my readings um, so far for this love, for this month of love. Um, all right, the situation is the world here. It's like, you I feel like are way more back and forth right now. It's so interesting. It's like difficult for you guys to both approach each other about like some chapter here, right? The world has is like a chapter ending here. Chapter here has ended. And it's like, what does this mean now? It just feels like it was uncomfortable with the way that was. But both of you are aware that like, the way things were, they cannot be here. The way things were, they cannot be here. And for some reason, like, all right, let's go into it. We got the Empress for how they see you here, Aquarius. They see you as the Empress. You know, she's very nurturing. She's very abundant, very fertile. Um, you know, basically, when I say nurturing, it's very giving, right? Like, like they see you as somebody who really gives with your whole heart. You know, the Empress basically teaches us that good things take time to develop and to grow. So there's just such a giving, generous energy here. It's ruled by Venus, right? The planet of love and luxury. So they just, I don't know, there's something that they just like, she's also the mother figure here in the tarot. So there's just so much love and abundance when they look at you. Also, the Empress speaks of giving birth to things, right? That's where the fertility comes in. So I just feel like they think that they can, or they see you as somebody they can create and build a lot with. Again, we're going to go in and we're going to clarify all of these. The way they're feeling right now, we got temperance here. Temperance, which basically for me definitely indicates that we're coming from a place where emotions, especially for this other person, were extreme. Very much extreme, like very much in one way, very much in another way. And that's why temperance, like, is basically they're at this place emotionally where they're starting to get a deeper understanding here. But you know, it's it's feeling balanced, it's feeling poised now. It's also about taking a moderate middle path now, which kind of feels a bit more compromising. Um, Cause that's where the middle path is, is, right? It's not all this way, it's not all that way. It's like, all right, let's find a way where this kind of really works. So they want to avoid extremes. They want to avoid extremes right now. But that's how you're making them feel, you know? It's, it's feeling like, all right, again, it's, it's maturity in a way. It's emotional maturity with temperance being there. Now, the action that they want to take towards you, we got the Four of Pentacles here. Stuck, it's, it's not moving. That's a no-taking action type of energy. You know, the Four of Pentacles is like, they're protecting themselves, they're guarding themselves, or, you know, they're not letting you know what they're thinking and feeling right now. They're not letting you know what they're thinking and feeling. Like, look at this pentacle blocking their chest, blocking the heart chakra. We have a pentacle up here blocking the crown chakra, right? Just like, just like, and it's like a rigid, it's an inflexible energy. And I mean, although emotionally they are feeling flexible, so I just feel like when it comes to the action that they want to take, it's feeling stuck. It's trying to maintain control here, trying to not really give off again what they're thinking and what they're feeling for some reason because they feel like they need to protect themselves. We'll know, we'll know more when we clarify. The way you see them, you got the two of pentacles here. Um, 
you know, that's a back and forth energy. It's like you're unsure right now with the way you're seeing them. Maybe you just think this is a person who can keep a lot of balance within themselves. You know, maybe they have a lot of day to day responsibilities. You recognize that with the two of pentacles. But it's a card about keeping balance. It's a card about like having a juggling act in a way. Um, but it's definitely a card about back and forth. Right? Like there's a back and forth energy right now with the way you're seeing them. Meaning, it doesn't feel consistent, right? Like, it's like you might see them in one light one day and then a different light on another day. But the way you're feeling, we got the Ace of Wands here. So I feel like emotionally, and even when I look across here, we have Temperance, the World, and the Ace of Wands. I do feel that whatever's happened has brought you guys to a much deeper understanding of the same situation. That's why like they're ready to be kind of more compromising, taking more of a middle path here, a more moderate and they're patient, right? And you also are ready to kind of hit reboot here. But there's something about it. Again, there's a back and forth energy with you and there's something about it that's stressing you out. Like maybe just, maybe just thinking about how you can do it. Um, really the house is kind of what it is. Because with the Ace of Wands, it's like, yeah, it's hitting restart, right? It's hitting refresh. It's like, let's reboot this. Let's bring the passion and the fun back in. But with the Ace of Wands, you know, it's it's about manifesting it and having the willpower to do so. But but you're, the action that you want to take here is the Nine of Swords. So there's just an energy of like, unable to move right now, right? It, there's too many thoughts in your head that are just getting in the way, right? And it's, it's, not, the, it's not the Eight of Swords where it's the overthinking, it's not. This one is like real fears, real worries, real stresses, can be painful memories, you know, it's just whatever keeps you up at night, you know, that kind of energy. So it's like, it's a need to kind of decompress it. A need, even if you can't talk to them or this person, to kind of talk to somebody so that you can really start organizing your thoughts and first of all, getting some sleep, right? Like there's a reason we always say like, um, whenever you're unsure, sleep on it right because there was like when you know if you sleep a little bit you get a moment to like decompress them but this isn't like it's like something's not even allowing you to sleep right now all right coming towards you guys is the devil um don't be scared of the devil i actually really like seeing the devil on the spread because when we don't see it it means that it's somewhere lurking in the shadows and we're not even aware of its control right it's toxicity so the devil being here is yeah you know, it's the lover's inverse, right? The devil's about like, yeah, it's temptation, right? Um, you know, the things that have a control over us, it's those invisible chains that are kind of negative, right? They have a negative impact. There's something toxic about them. But when the devil appears on the spread, it means there's a light being shed on it, right? Like there's an awareness that's happening now. And again, I do feel a deeper understanding coming through. So it's like, we never like it because it always like would just be like oh, I, I can't believe like i let this person do that or i can't believe i've been i don't know it could be smoking right it doesn't matter that you know um the devil has a different meaning for each of us right it's 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 mental patterns it's behavioral patterns you know what i mean it's all of those things all right let's go ahead and clarify each of these energies all right aquarius Let's see. But they definitely see you as somebody they can build and create with. All right, we're gonna just put this at the bottom. Six of Swords is at the bottom. I love that. It's a state of transition. Um, definitely going from choppy waters onto calmer waters. It's an underlying energy. All right, let's clarify all these energies. There's uncertainty right now. Uncertainty, yeah. There's uncertainty. And then as I said, it, of course, the Eight of Swords comes out. Both of you are a little back and forth. I think that's why neither of you are ready. You're just not ready to take action towards each other. You're just not ready, right? Um, we're still at this place of making sense of what's happened, where you're coming from. Because you're not ready. You're just still... Um, like that door is not ready to be closed just yet, right? You're still figuring out what everything means. You know, uh, justice is here too. Um, the devil's here. The world is here. The empress, temperance, yeah. And we have the two of pentacles for both of you with how you're viewing each other. 
there is a back and forth energy right now. There is an inconsistency because there's a need. There's a need on both parties right now to really take some time with yourselves, to ask yourself the deep questions, right? To ask yourself, you know, even with justice being on the spread, like what led here, right? Justice is a card of accountability. You know, what parts did we play that got us here? Page of Pentacles is here though as well. So there is a shared energy though. Let's let's really talk about that. Because with the world and the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Pentacles is ready to manifest something new, to bring a new reality into existence here. And with all the pages, they're students, right? So they're open. So there is an openness to like a new change, a new journey here together in a way. Uncertain though, it's uncertain. Nobody is very confident right now if it can be but there still is a shared energy of being open, being open to building together. You know, pentacles represent the earthly realm, right? The physical material world. So it's about manifesting something and bringing it to life. And with the page of pentacles as the shared energy, you're both feeling like you can do this kind of together, right? Um, we can build it, there's an openness. There is an openness, even though it may not seem like it. Cause you know, I think we're dealing with more than one emotion here. Again, there's a back and forth energy with both of you. How do they see you? They see you as the Empress with the two pentacles as well. So it's like, yeah, can I build with them? Can I create with them? Can I? Basically, we're starting it with can I because it's back and forth. Yes, no, yes, no. It's like, you know, when um, you pick the petals off of a flower, do they love me? Yes, no. Very, it's almost kind of like that. Um, it's just because whatever's happened here, you know that it's the end of a chapter and that hurts. It hurts. But I, it, it also feels like there were a lot of lessons here. It really does, um, especially on their part. I don't know why it just feels that way. It's coming across that way with the spread because the way they're feeling, um, clarifying temperance, we got justice. You know, justice is a card of, especially for them, like taking accountability, taking accountability for your actions, right? Um, because it's, it's karma, right? And what is karma? So, you know, we, we, we decide to do something, we decide to say something, and then that thing has a ripple effect. And wherever that leads is because of the action that we took, right? And so it's about like being able to connect the dots, right? Seeing, just basically seeing how one thing led to another here. And they just know something was wrong and it's, I think they feel like they wanna make it right. They want to make it right with justice being here. But they, they don't know how to approach right now. Like right now, it's like, yeah, they I feel like they, they want to make something right for a lot of you. And you know, with the action that they want to take, we have the Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, they really want to like show up and like give, right? The Queen of Pentacles is a very giving energy, a very nurturing energy. But again, there's a stuck, there's a stuckness right now. There's like an inability it's like, I just feel like they don't know how to approach you. And they're guarded. They're guarded, almost defensive. Um, but do they want to come in and nurture you? They do. I think, do they have a deeper understanding? They do. Do they want to correct something that was wrong? It feels like they do. Um, it does feel like they do. All right, the way you're seeing them, you're back and forth. I mean, you're seriously back and forth because you have the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. You're right you just maybe you see them as they are changing direction right like maybe you're like they're making plans you know they're ready to keep it moving and i i think that's how you're seeing them it doesn't it for me that's not what i'm seeing but it does feel like that's what you're seeing right now it's like that they're making plans they're ready to keep it moving but you're back and forth on it and i think you're just back and forth if you're not seeing them as making plans you're just back and forth on basically where you guys can go together where do you go from here there's an uncertainty for sure. Nobody's feeling very confident in the situation, not as of this month. Um, all right, the way you're feeling though, we got the Ace of Wands and the King of Cups. Like you do love them very deeply, as, as do they you. You know, they also love you very deeply. Um, but, you know, I don't know. The Ace of Wands is usually a personal reboot. It's not usually within um, a relationship. It usually feels like it's within ourselves. So I feel like there's a sense of you that's like, even though you love them very deeply, you're also like really thinking about yourself and how you're feeling and you know how you're feeling about yourself. 
how you show up in this life, right? Are you going to be with a weight on you or you do want to feel light again, right? And it just feels like you want to feel light again as well. But do you love them deeply? You do. And you, you are having the ability, Aquarius, with the King of Cups. Even though things are turbulent, I feel like you can for sure. I know it's a little bit rocky, so I say this, you know, don't take it all the way to the bank. Don't cash it. But even though, because I know that things are rocky here, but I feel like you still have this like ability to kind of keep things in alignment with yourself like to really like recenter yourself if, if you get a little bit like something's pulling you in different directions with that king of cups i do feel like you have the ability to recenter yourself um but you're you're, you're stressed out right um there's like these two sides to the story here because you have the nine of swords but you also have the star and so it's like with the action that you want to take towards them it's like you do want to have renewed hope you want to like inject hope into a situation that may have felt hopeless in the recent past um, but the star is your energy it's one of my favorite cards but it speaks of renewed hope renewed faith but think of the word renewed it's because something was lost right um, it's like you want to bring that back in but you're just you're stressed right the painful memories something about it is just making you feel insecure again there's a lack of confidence in the situation right now for both of you I'm not talking about self-confidence. I'm talking about like confidence in the relationship, in the direction, in the can we grow and build together. And then coming towards you guys is like really just kind of more analyzing, more figuring it out because we have the devil clarified by the eight of swords. You know, whatever you guys are shedding light on, I think it's going to temporarily make you feel a little powerless. It's going to put you in this. Um, it's It almost feels like you you're going to be too hard on yourself right like you're going to discover something that just kind of had some kind of negative control whatever those invisible chains were and i just feel like with the eight of swords it just feels like you're going to be too hard on yourself upon this discovery but for me i definitely see it a bit differently because again if the devil doesn't fall on the spread because it's always lurking somewhere in the shadows it's it's back there but here it's like you're, you're shedding light on it and it's actually going to make you stronger in the end. So like it may not feel like that initially, but that is truly what is going to happen. I just think there's going to be a need for you to be a little bit more gentle with yourself as you discover yourself, as you discover each other, you know, as you discover what the relationship did to you, to each other. I just think there's a need to be more gentle with yourself, more forgiving with yourself. You know, we're always doing the best that we can. Like, let's be honest. And this, this for me represents real growth coming through. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for you, Aquarius. Of course, I really do hope you enjoyed this bonus love reading. If you did, hit like, hit subscribe. Thank you for letting me tune into your energies. I'll see you all next week.